Uh, all right, guys. Uh, ladder matches are over. If we're on a normal match here, tag team championship. The Usos are unsuccessful in winning the titles, but they do defeat the Miz and Damian Miz Dow via disqualification, which is my only real gripe about this match because pay-per-views should not have disqualifications unless it's something that is a, of dire importance and you can't get around it. There is no reason why this had to have a, an ending that you would see on fucking Monday Night Raw. And uh, whoever booked this, fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what I got to say about that. You too, Baden? Yeah, they should be ashamed. Somebody should call their mama. So, just get, uh, what's this, Bull Dempsey? Sure. Bull Dempsey's gonna call the mama? Well, you know, he's the new British clan. I thought we established that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Miguel, what do you think about the Usos and the uh, tag title situation? Uh, I'm bored. I, I, I like the Usos because they're getting me points in the Fantasy League. But outside of that, they're having no, the no, same... No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not professional. You only like them because of Fantasy League. Come on. We're, we're a professional well, podcast. Uh, let, let me finish, Drew, before you try to be indignant with me. <laughs> okay. um, wow, that's a big word. Yeah. I don't even I know, know if I'm using... Yeah, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know if you are. Let me look. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm using it right. But um, <laughs> I was going to say, t- barring that... I'm bored with the Usos. They've had the same matches with the same people, whether it's Rybaxel, whether it's the Goldust and Stardust, whether it's the Los Matadores. It's just the same match over and over. It's a good matchup, but how many times can you see the same moves and the same guys almost every week over and over again before you just get tired of it? I'm just – I'm tired of them. I think – I think honestly, they just need to take a, a, some time off. You know, maybe a couple months off the, off the road or something, or only doing house shows. Get off, you know, TV for a little while. I think they'd be better off. I, I just I can't care about them anymore. Like it, literally, it's just not that I don't. I just can't. And Mizdow in the whole Mizdow thing, I, I don't know. I I like. Damian Sandow, he's making the most out of this. I can't stand the Miz. I've, I haven't been a fan of his for a very long time. Honestly, I think they're better than the tag team titles. I, I really do. I, I want to see them feud with each other. I think that's the feud everybody wants to see. But it just them having the belts does nothing for me. I mean, it gets it gets Sandow over, which, like I said, I guess is something. But eh, it, this this one was a it was a it was an I need to use the restroom match in my opinion. It's not every day you hear someone say that Ms. Dow is above the tag titles. How far he's come. How far has he come? He's like, get it. He's breaching John Cena levels right now. He doesn't need the title. No, we listen, bury listen him let, me ju- let me just say it. I think he's got a shot. <laughs> oh, thank you for fucking admitting it. He's going to win the next Money in the Bank, and this time he'll actually cash it in and win. <laughs> nah, it's not going to happen. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So I'm expecting Miz and uh, Miz Dow to keep the titles until WrestleMania, at the very least, and yeah. drop it probably like the night after WrestleMania or something weird like that. WWE likes to do that kind of shit where uh, something happens. They drop happens one after, title after WrestleMania. Yeah. Something, yeah. The week after or at least you know Extreme Rules, somebody's going to drop the titles and stuff. But um, I don't see these two feuding at WrestleMania because I think they're going to have too loaded of a card. So it kind of screws the pooch a little bit with my Ascension idea. But um, I'm actually still fine with the Usos. And my only gripe about it is not only the end of the match and how that ended, but I kind of uh, have seen enough of these two teams together already where I would have rather had them just lose to the Miz and Miz now. And if they wanted to do some more matches between them, okay, but don't stall it with a disqualification. That's kind of like lazy writing to a different level than finding out come Royal Rumble time that you want to do another match. I'd be fine with you doing another match. Just don't, you know, do the the cop out. That's what bothers me. Uh, what? Who do you guys think should win the titles if you don't go with Something like, you know, the Ascension ideas that we were bringing up earlier and all that. 
Let's go around real quick. Peyton, who should drop? Uh, not who should drop. Who should be the ones to be the next tag team champions? Uh, you know that's it's a really tough question. I mean, the Ascension's a good option, but I I don't see how you would have them beat Miz and Miz Dow. unless maybe you did like a, a tag team turmoil type thing, like have the Ascension be the last team to come out, or even be the first team and just dominate every single tag team in turmoil. Yeah, do that. Have the Ascension come out and just beat five tag teams in a row. There you go. Book it. <laughs> Miguel, who would you like to see new tag team champs? Uh, barring the Ascension, everybody on that roster that's a tag team has has pretty much had a run with it, with the exception of Los Matadores. But really, who cares? You know what? They're hot right now. Supposedly, I'm gonna go New Day. Put it on the New Day. Have them. Have them. They're hot. <laughs> what fucking them. show are you watching? <laughs> I mean, they're they're the they're the hottest thing going right now in terms of like a new tag team. Like I said, every other tag team has had a shot with the titles except for the Los for Los hot. Matadores. And are you really gonna put the belts on Los Matadores? At least the New Day, they're putting some effort into and put the belts on, put the belts on those guys. Have them beat Ms. Dow and and have that be the breaking point. You know, have have Damian cost them the matchup and that leads to their feud. You know, they're not doing anything with the tag belts really aside from using them to get Miz down and and Miz over. If you're not going to do anything with the belts, put them on the put them on the new day. Maybe it'll maybe it'll make those guys, you know, as a tag team, who knows. Do it for the new day. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> what about you, Drew? About like tag team to get the title? <laughs> yes. Swell <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> I would go with the new day. It's fascinating. New day. Yo, new it's, day. Because listen, I'm actually I'm, sure. as as much as much as I like tend to like come across as racist on this show. Oh, what are you talking about? You're not racist, okay? But um, I actually do like the new day. I think they're interesting mainly because of how fucking blatantly obvious they paired a bunch of black people because they're black. So I think from that standpoint, they're interesting. And also, Big E has a lot of sweat, and that's why he carries a handkerchief around. So, I have a yeah. question. How come when they pair the New Day together because they're black, it's racist, but when they paired the Spirit Spot Squad together because they were all white, there was right. no problem with it? <laughs> right, nobody was like, oh, look at them pairing all these white guys together. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. When it comes to like non-white tag teams, they usually do go for... The very base kind of, you know, look at look no, at. No, Mex- at least they're not fucking Samoan and coming out with like tattered jungle cloths on and like bare feet. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't. I'm not, make, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not making fun of, I'm not making fun of the New Day, honestly, because I mean, I'm, I'm old enough to remember the Mexicals, you know. I know it could I love be a Mexi- lot worse. The Mexicals, the Mexicals was fucking amazing though. They came out of fucking lawnmowers. You know what was Lawn awesome? Beach. <laughs> Another yeah. like blatantly they just did not give any fucks tag team Kai and Tai. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was or, or crime time. Crime time was pretty fucking bad too. Oh god. That would be That's... just lowest common denominator sometimes, but it works. That should be a, that should be an article on uh on a smart out moment or, or bleacher report top 10 most racist tag teams in wwe <laughs> even better should know, jimmy wang yang is not good. racist like you know those horribly racist tag teams like uh i don't know the god wins <laughs> well no hillbillies are technically considered a race in wwe so you know might as well i don't know trevor murdoch was pretty fucking white it's like really he was like crazy. he was and that, like, Trevor Murdoch was Seamus before Seamus was there. I thought Trevor Murdoch was a piece of crap. I never... Oh, I, I hated him. I hate. I hated his music. I Fuck, his I would ever... I don't know. Who had the biscuits and gravy theme? Oh, uh, Jesse, Jesse and Festus. Jesse. I do like that okay. theme. Biscuits no, and that... gravy. Yeah, maybe you mail. This <laughs> <laughs> is... No, it's uh, Jerry Show. That's the best theme ever. It's the big show. Oh, Jericho. <laughs> Some angry fucking person. By the way, I was going to make a uh, Trevor Murdoch reference. I-, I love how when they signed him to TNA, they tried to make him a thing. Like a- like an actual like upper mid-carder type wrestler. He was like, they did that with like, Matt Morgan, too. 
Well, I like Matt Morgan. I've always been a Matt Morgan fan, but come on, Trevor Murdoch, really? I mean, I know he's probably got a thing with Jeff Jarrett, but no. Did he keep was... the mutton chops? Yeah, he he went by the outlaw uh, Jethro Holiday was his name. Okay, that's a terrible. That, that's a that's some that's some shit right there. That's some TNA right there. <laughs> that's that's some it right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> then I'll do us in for Usos and Ms. Ms. Down Talk. Uso. We'll move on to Steel Stairs match in the next part. <laughs> 